Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to this channel. I am Marjolein, designer of Somnia Romantica. I mainly make very romantic, dramatic clothes with lots of lace, often vintage. In this video you can see how I make this rug, which is made of almost only vintage laces, even for the lacing. A kind disclaimer before we start. I'm a small independent fashion designer living for my fashion designs, which are all made as one of a kind or very limited pieces. Please do not copy my designs. Seeing it as an inspiration for your own ideas, however, is absolutely okay. I'd love to hear about your projects in the comments. Also a note, this is a peek over my shoulder, not a literal tutorial. I am self-taught. This means that I have no education in sewing, tailoring or fashion, nor do I master the official techniques. I work in a unconventional and often intuitive way. Of course, the world of sewing is huge and diverse and I hope that showing my way of working is a nice addition to this. Okay, so let's start. Although it has been way worse, it's really time now to first clean up before I start a new piece. And here it's actually a day later, but uh, well, it's important for me to clean up to get some headspace whenever I start on a new piece. It is done, now the sketching can begin, and this is a nice butterfly class. Very important. I already had the design in my head, so I'm only making a very rough sketch of uh, what it's going to be, so that I can uh, decide which materials I will use for which part of the design. Okay, I decided on my materials. The fabric. Lace trim for the lacing, lace more, this is for detailing, this or this will be the ribbon, uh, nice decoration, so that's it. This red piece of tape means there's somewhere a flaw in the fabric, so probably here, yeah, I can see a little bit of twist here and here. And here's here I cut the sleeves. I let them reach all up to the line with the little flaws in it. So I uh, waste as little lace as possible. Here I'm cutting the sleeve. And this is the, the part that goes around the upper arm, around the biceps. I'm making it a bit smaller because there is going to be lacing in between. This is the side back part. Oh yeah. Fun fact. Not the first time. That line is perfect. It's already there. Hello, line. Hello. Yeah, I often have so many lines already on one piece of pattern that I can just follow one from a previous project that suits the best. Like in this case. I use that line to make the gap for the uh, uh, lacing at the back. Here I'm cutting the front. And here the shoulder part. I'm intentionally making it a bit wider. Well, I filmed the whole session of searcher, but I did not have the camera on. So everything has nice searcher scenes. Yeah. Here I'm attaching the decorative trim. And also of course with the other sleeve. After that I uh, am going to pleat the lace and 
onto the big sleeves. This is lovely vintage lace. I need to get more of it. Also the fabric is awesome. I hope that shop will be sort of still open after the multiple lockdowns as it was already in a process of closing down. So I really don't know. Well, other than that, you know the draw. It's pleat, 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 pleat. And more pleat. This is a teapot. Not sure if I keep that in. Here I'm sewing the uh, biceps parts. This is where the lacing will be. This is the inner side, which I make nice. And for the outer side, I have this broad trim with cute spare outs where I can put the lacing through. I make sure it's symmetrical by uh, cutting the lace trim symmetrical. So yeah, there you go. Always make it firm with like three rows when it's broad lace. And when I'm done with that, I go to the back parts. There I first also do the inside. And then uh, there's this uh, added seam at the back. And I also decorate that on the outside with the same lace trim. Before I will add the broader trim for the lacing at the back. So this is all decoration on the inside on the additional seams and here we have the broader lace again and again I can very easy make it symmetric by placing it mirrors mirrored against the other side and then cutting it so done with the back here I'm putting the same small trim on the outside of the big sleeves over the searcher line. So now both uh, sides of the open sleeves look nice. Here, this is the mid front. And this is a shoulder piece. So I'm a little bit all over the place. Apologies for that. Here is the mid front again, and I am attaching the, the lingerie fastening with uh, clips. And here I discover that my uh, camera was still in searcher position. Here I am sewing it tight the other side and This one is a double fastening, so I have to turn out the uh, one of the rows. Liefje, we zouden ook iets kunnen bestellen vandaag. That's me shouting that we need to go out to get something for that. Here. Oh. So there goes the other side. Now I'm attaching the decorative trim that I also had around the biceps and or the, the, the upper part of it. Because I think it's all so nice to decorate the mid front. So sewing it tight. Here I was not happy with some parts, so I do it again. Now it's better. Mid front done. Now the upside of the mid front. I guess oh, first making it firmer. Singing is very important. There goes the sleeve. Yeah, lots of searcher action here. The other sleeve. This is the long sleeve. I'm pleating it here. Very fine pleats because it's a very wide sleeve 
and a very small part to attach it to done and of course I also did the other side and then here back to the sewing machine the 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 upper part of the mid front I'm attaching the same trim there it, I thought it looked nice I do it both on the inside and the outside so it's really uh, finished and here we're done then I'm just sewing this searcher seam flat so that it won't show and then I attach the biceps part where the lacing will be to the upper part of the sleeve and then decorate it with trim on the inside to finish it and also on the other side on the outer side so basically everywhere where you could see less nice seams or uh, where I feel like decorating seams or where I don't want the searcher seam to show I put these smaller lace trims to make it more fancy sleeve done Saying hi to the camera, I guess. Yay. And this is the front again. I now attach the side parts of the front. And I'm going to sew lovely vintage lace over this line. I have it for a long time, have had it for a long time, but now it was time to use it. There you go. So that's for the other side, but first I will be uh, placing this broader lace on the shoulder parts. So this pattern has shoulder panels and I am decorating them also with the broader scallops lace. Here I am mirroring it. And here fumbling, fumble, 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 very annoying part, but it's very important exactly how it's placed. And there I touch it. Oh, what on earth am I doing here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Then without the pause we are going back to the searcher and here I will do the famous uh, arm hole, the puff sleeve catch attached to, attached to the bodice and I find it hard to film this. Maybe one time I'll do a tutorial only on this, I say this every time but I really mean it, it's in my notes. Here, that's the lower seam and here I'm going to the sewing machine and forget to move the camera again, so yay me. Go girl. Oh dude. Echt? There I notice. Moving the camera again. Now we're on for the last part with the sewing machine. This is the pleating of the lace on the hem. This is the inner side. I'm going to do lace trim on the outer side. This is again to make both the in and the outside look as nice as possible. So there you go. Again the scallop lace. This lace makes me so happy. This lace trim. I need it in every shade of the world. And this is for the other side. And following the scallops. So they are they stay in place. And yet another round to make sure the upper side is also nice and flat. Here I look how it looks symmetrical and then fumble, fumble, fumble again and then sewing more fumbles. Decide to do the folding later on because it was too much fumbling and looking at the other piece to make sure it is symmetrical. And then the yada yada went on, and here I'm at the last part. Dun, 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 dun. 
and here is the last part and I am done with sewing that is machine sewing that is yes and then we go to the lacing and this is just a big mess and well just think back to your shoelacing uh, uh, diplomas that you cut in uh, elementary school but then way more complicated but it worked out <laughs> then I got to the roses and uh, watching some video I often watch YouTube videos during uh, hand sewing because I like to watch YouTube videos and it also motivates me to do the hand sewing. There you go, happy little rose. And multiple knots, not, 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 not. Cut it off, not too short. There comes a clasp. So first I did all the roses only showing one and here you can see me attaching a clasp that goes to almost every hole with a light grey toe it matches the clasp but also is not too contrasting with the light shades of the top all clasps were always uh, this type of clasp is always attached with two sets of uh, yarn also many knots well then we're done here you have it from all sides I take these photos always in uh, natural daylight and I'm very happy with my new workspace where I have very good light and uh, you can see all the details very well. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next video will probably be an update about uh, the last six months of uh, 2020, all things I made. Then I will edit a video making this dress. I already have all the raw material. So I strive to upload both pieces this March. Likes, shares, comments and subscriptions are always very much appreciated and encourage me to make new content for this channel. In any case, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!